Hey guys, today we'll be plugging in my Hikvision 7616 NVR security camera recorder, configuring the basic setups and adding a couple cameras for continuous recording. This is a 7600 series NVR with 16 ports for 16 cameras. An NVR is a network video recorder and used to capture the footage from security cameras. This is the follow-up video to my unboxing video and to the one where I installed the hard drive in the NVR. For product details on where I picked up this hardware, check out my blog at newviewport.com in the description below. The NVR came with a mouse, a network cable and a power cord. It's a good idea to plug your NVR into a UPS which is an uninterruptible power supply so in case there's a power failure your NVR will continue to record and your cameras will continue to have a power supply through the PoE ports on the back. This network cable is plugged into the LAN port on the back of the NVR. The other end will be plugged into my switcher router so that it can be assigned an IP address on my network. These two cameras are plugged into the PoE ports on the back of the NVR. Again, these ports transfer the data as well as supply the cameras with the electricity. So no power adapter is required to power these cameras. These cameras have not yet been activated and other brands of cameras may not have an activation requirement. They may have a default password, which obviously you should change. So those types of cameras, like this one here, they, are, they have to be ONVIF compatible or compliant in order to work with this NVR, which is also ONVIF compatible. So if you're buying cameras and you want to see if it works with your unit, they will both have to be ONVIF compatible. The unit has an HDMI port on the back, but it didn't come with an HDMI cable, so you'll have to supply your own. The reason for that is you can do the setup and the monitoring using Internet Explorer by navigating to the unit's IP address. So to find the IP address, you need a tool called SADP. The link for that is in my description below. I'm going to keep things simple today and just plug the unit into this monitor and do the setup on the screen. So let's get the unit powered on. First thing you're going to notice is how quiet this thing runs. It took about 20 seconds for the startup screen to appear. Hikvision recently upgraded the firmware to NVR 4.0, which is a new user interface with some newly added functionalities. First off, you're gonna go crazy with this beeping sound. The beeping is because the hard drive is not yet initialized. I'll turn the volume down in the video so we no longer have to deal with that. Next, set your language. Before we do anything, we need to activate the device for first time use. This is a security feature ensuring you have your own unique password and you're not using the default one making your system vulnerable. I'll enter my password and confirm it here. Set your password for all cameras which will be activated on the NVR. This will be the password assigned to each camera. Do not select to export GUID. This is for password recovery in the future. Set your pattern for access. It's like a password. Enter your time zone and update the date and time as you require. Accept defaults for network for now. Basically the IP address of the NVR in my network is 192.168.0.134 and internally on the NVR's own private network it's known as 192.168.254.1. It works like a router. You will not be able to access the web interface of your individual cameras once you've connected them to the NVR network from your computer. If you open SADP from your PC, you will not see each of the cameras. You will only see the NVR's IP address. You can still see the camera's feed over the network by accessing the NVR's IP address. Click the box for the hard drive you want to initialize and press the init button. Finally, the beeping will stop. Once it's formatted, move on to the next step. On the camera setup screen here, it's showing all of my cameras on my network. In fact, I don't see any of the cameras I just plugged into the NVR. If I unplug the LAN cable from my NVR, all of the cameras disappear. The reason for this is, this list shows all of the cameras which can be added to your NVR for viewing and recording. The two new cameras I just plugged in have already been activated and assigned an IP address, and the password is the one that we entered earlier when we set up the NVR. Therefore, they won't show in this list. This makes life a lot easier, but I wish it was better communicated so I knew what was going on here. 
for the platform access. We're not setting up remote access at this time. That's a big topic for another video. Lastly, on change password, we're going to leave this alone and just exit the wizard. Immediately, we are brought to the live view screen where we see the live feed of all of the cameras. The screen holds 16 cameras, but we can change that to four by right clicking the mouse, select the grid icon, and select two by two. There is about a quarter to a half a second lag here, which is actually very good. I'm pretty impressed here. To see your connected cameras, go to the maintenance screen and select camera. Just below on the record screen, you can see the cameras are already continuously recording, which is exactly what I wanted. It also gives you the resolution and it's refreshing every second so you can see the dynamic bit rate for each of the cameras. So let's go back and look at our footage then since it was recording. On the playback screen, select the cameras that you want to retrieve the footage from, then click on the play button below. You can slide the timeline to pick the times that you want to watch. I don't really like how clunky this is though. It's like I'm seeing a screen capture in 10 minute intervals. I wish it was smooth flowing as I move the mouse. I guess you can mouse over the events in the timeline and see the images, but again, it's too clunky for me. There is also a cool feature on the camera page under the PoE settings. It shows you the wattage being pulled by each camera, overall consumption, and how many more watts of power are remaining before you hit the maximum limit. As soon as new firmware is available, I'll definitely be updating the NVR. I'll also be creating videos soon on exporting footage from the NVR, setting up motion detection, and adding ONVIF compliant cameras. So, check out the cameras and the hardware displayed here today on my blog at newfieldboard.com in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what else I'm up to, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.